So the first thing to know when uh, using a microscope is how to grab it correctly. And so the way to grab it is uh, just like I'm showing you uh, right here, uh, which basically involves always uh, holding it with two hands, one supporting the base, and then uh, one on the back here. And there's actually a handle to help you uh, carry the microscope. So always hold it with two hands um, when you're carrying it from the cabinet to um, your work area. And so here's just an overview of the most common things that you're going to be manipulating on your microscope. So there's a whole bunch of knobs and things to manipulate, but uh, we're just going to be manipulating mainly three or four of them for the course of the quarter. Uh, the one thing that you can manipulate are these uh, eyepieces. So it turns out that uh, you can uh, widen them or make them more narrow uh, in order to uh, match the width of your eyes. So uh, take advantage of that so that you're not always uh, just peeking through one of your eyes through the lens. Uh, make sure that uh, the width is, uh, matches perfectly with the width of your eyes so that you can see um, the image with both of your eyes. Uh, another thing that you're going to be manipulating it a lot this quarter is are these guys right here the objective lenses. It turns out that we have uh, four for the microscopes that we're going to be using. And um, you may or may not know that one of the objective lenses, uh, you actually need to use a drop of oil in order to look through it um, correctly and to be able to get it into focus. And so we'll show you more about that uh, later on. Uh, uh, some of the other knobs you're going to be uh, using a lot uh, are these guys down here. And so basically what uh, these knobs do, there's two sets of them. There's a top one and then the bottom one. And so ba basically what these knobs do is that, uh, well, they move the stage. So if you move this top knob right here, check out what happens. Moves the stage forward and back. And uh, if you move this bottom knob down here, check out what happens here. It moves the, um, the clips which hold this, the uh, specimen into place, moves that from side to side. So you're going to be using that a lot this quarter too. And um, a couple of other, th uh, other things we're going to be using this quarter a lot. Uh, this guy right here adjusts the uh, intensity of the light. And then these guys down here, that's what you use to focus on your specimen. And again, there's two sets of focus knobs. There's one uh, at the base here. And check out what happens when you turn that. It moves the stage up and down. And then there's also the uh, focus knob uh, here on the tip. It's the uh, fine adjustment knob. And so uh, check out what happens when you turn that. Actually, with the naked eye, you see nothing because what it's doing is it's moving the stage up and down, but in just really, really, really small amounts. And so it turns out uh, that there's a proper uh, time to use the fine adjustment knob and a proper time to use the coarse adjustment knob. And uh, we'll show you that here in a second. All right, so some of the most common knobs that you're going to be using on the microscope this quarter. All right, so when you're actually ready to look at a specimen, something like this maybe, uh, what you want to do is uh, plug in your microscope and then uh, turn on the light. And it turns out that the light switch is uh, right here, it's the, this button. And so uh, when you turn on the light, you should see uh, the light coming up from the bottom right here. And you can uh, adjust the intensity of the light by turning this knob left or right. And so when you're ready to look at something again, what you want to do is have the microscope kind of, kind of in a starting position. And uh, basically what starting position involves is uh, having the stage as far down as you can get it by using this course adjustment knob. Uh, not only that, but having the uh, objective lens that's the smallest one click in, clicked into place. And it turns out that on our, on our microscopes, the uh, smallest objective lens we have is this red one, which is a 4X lens. And remember that uh, if the 4X lens, uh, if the 4X objective lens is clicked into place, what that means is that when you look at the specimen uh, uh, in focus, what you'll see is that the specimen is actually 40 times the size that it actually is. And that's because it turns out that these uh, ocular lenses here uh, magnify things just 10 times by themselves. So if you have the ocular lenses magnifying things 10 times multiplied by the four times that the objective lens uh, is magnifying it, then 10 times four will give you a total magnification of the object of uh, 40 times its actual size. So when you're ready to take a look at your specimen, something like this, uh, what you do is you take it and then you securely fasten it onto your microscope stage by uh, placing it in the middle of these uh, silver clips. And uh, once you place it on the silver clip, the next thing to do is to make sure that uh, your, your specimen is actually over the light source. And so here, let me show you what I'm talking about there. 
So uh, actually when the uh, specimen has been placed onto the microscope stage, what you want to do is make sure that your specimen, which is uh, this guy in the middle of the glass, uh, sorry, the, uh, the circular um, cover slip, is actually right over the light source. So right now you can see that the thing you want to look at actually is not over the light source that's going to be uh, illuminating it. So what you want to do is if you want to have any look at, luck at actually looking at your specimen is to go ahead and, and turn these knobs here in order to uh, move the specimen actually right over the light source. Like that. And so now that it's actually above the light source, you're going to have uh, some luck at actually taking a look at uh, what's on that specimen. So once you have your sample, your specimen centered over the light source, now you can take a look. And basically what taking a look involves is uh, looking through your ocular lenses. Again, make sure to adjust the width of the ocular lenses so that it matches the width of your eye. Um, one thing to uh, be careful of is that if you're actually too close to the ocular lenses, kind of like this, uh, what, you, what you might see is either nothing or you might see your own eyelashes in the way. So um, this, you can see how far my head is to the ocular lens, that's about the perfect um, distance so that you can actually see everything with both eyes uh, without having your eyelashes get into the way. And so when you're looking through the ocular lens and you want to look at your um, specimen, uh, basically what that involves is uh, slowly bringing the specimen up using the uh, course adjustment knob until you finally see something come into focus. And uh, when you see something come into focus, uh, one little trick that I do is that when I see something come into focus is that I turn these, uh, these knobs down here, which causes the um, specimen to move side to side. And basically what I'm checking for is, uh, well, if, I, if I'm looking at the right thing, then that means that the right thing being the thing that's actually on the specimen, the thing that's actually on the slide. If I'm looking at the thing that's actually on the slide, if I move the slide from side to side, that means that the thing I'm looking at should also move from side to side. So that's always kind of a check that I do to make sure that I'm actually looking at the right thing and maybe not some piece of debris that's actually uh, on the microscope uh, objective lens itself. So if uh, you're focused on something, and uh, you do this little trick where you move the thing side to side and what you're focusing on is, uh, is not moving at all, then that probably is an indication that what you're looking at is not the thing that's on the slide, but maybe some debris that's on the objective lens itself. So once you have something in focus on the, uh, on the lowest objective lens, the next thing to do is uh, you want to uh, see a bigger picture of it. So uh, just slide the next objective lens into place. And uh, notice what I'm going to do here is that what, after you get something into focus on this 4x objective lens, um, don't, don't touch these uh, course adjustment knobs anymore because uh, you found the, the perfect distance here. So uh, once you have this into place, don't move the stage up and down. Simply just slide the next one into place, kind of like that. And um, if you were in sharp focus on the 4x, if you don't move anything and simply just move that 10x into place, that means that what you're going to be looking at now when you go like this uh, should pretty much already be in focus. If not, all you have to do is make some small adjustments by turning the uh, fine adjustment knob until you see it come into really sharp focus. And uh, to give you an idea of uh, maybe the, the, the working distance you want to be at to get something into focus, here, check this out. All right. So you see about how far the uh, slide is from the uh, objective lens. It's kind of out of focus a little bit. So if you, if you have something in a focus using that uh, 10x, that yellow objective lens, that's about how far it's going to be from your specimen.